my daughter, which my husband never wears it because like it, I don't like strong smells, but she found his, um, what do you call that stuff that men spray on? Cologne. Um, she found his cologne and sprayed it all over herself. Ugh. It just about made me nauseous. Oh, it was awful. And trying to get her cleaned up. <laughs> oh, and it's not like she'd just taken one spray. Like, it smelled like she drenched herself in it. I was tagged by Amanda from Eat, Pray, Crunch to do the innocent or, or the guilty or innocent tag. And I think this is a really fun tag. I was actually watching Obs and Lala and um, uh, Naturally Thirsty Mama. They did them. And I, I really liked them. So I'm really glad that she tagged me. She gave me the little bump that I needed to get this done. Um, if any of you are watching this, please feel free to do these too. Because I am enjoying watching these. I feel like it just helps to bring a lot of reality to YouTube. Because sometimes I think when we're making videos and everything, we always put our best foot forward. And this gets down to real life. So I love it. Um, I'd also like to tag um, my newest subscriber, Beck Jane. Um, Chase and Amber, if you're watching this, I'd really like to see you do it. Um, and then I subscribe to these two ladies and I love their videos and I would actually love to see them do it too. Nat and Wes and the rest. Natalie, I know you're really busy with twins and everything. So, um, like if you can't get it done for a while, that's fine. But when you get a chance, love to see your responses to these. And then Alhar, Allison, um, yeah, if you get a chance, I'd love to see your responses. So anyways, um, basically I just read these questions and I say whether I'm guilty or innocent. I think I'm going to be guilty to most all of them. So question number one, saying you are letting a dish soak when in reality you just don't feel like washing it. Um, happened last night. Very guilty. <laughs> um, sometimes dishes truly do need to soak, but after they're soaking they need to be washed. And I can just continue to let them soak because, oh, they're soaking. <laughs> and so then I can avoid washing them. Um, number two, restarting the dryer to avoid folding. Um, I would say, as the question is stated, I'm innocent because I will not restart the dryer. I'll just let them sit there and they will sit there until I fold them. <laughs> um, yeah, so... I know they get wrinkled, but oh well, you know, they're still going to be there when I'm done. I'm not going to restart the dryer and waste the electricity on redrying them just because I don't want to fold them. I'll just wait to fold them and then we'll have wrinkled clothes. <laughs> um, number three is hiding when eating so you don't have to share with your kids. Um, my kids are still young enough that I don't feel like I really have to do this or anything. Um, I don't think that I necessarily hide. I don't necessarily share. And I won't eat something in front of them that I'm not going to let them have. So I might be a little sneaky, but I, I don't feel like I have to hide. So number four, um, obey the five second rule. Most definitely. If my kids drop something on the rug <laughs> or the carpet, you know, the floor, anything, um, and I know that my floors are sufficiently clean, it's a definite just pick it back up and brush it off and let them eat it. Um, the grocery store floor or like a restaurant floor, that's a little different. Um, yeah. Number five is say it's an hour later so you can get the kids into bed. Uh, my kids can't tell time so that wouldn't work. So I haven't ever done that. Um, yeah. No, I don't think I've done that. I think I'm innocent of that one. So, number six is rewashing laundry because you forgot to switch it over to the dryer all the time. <laughs> oh, and sometimes I've even done the same load more than once <laughs> because I keep on forgetting to switch it over. Um, laundry is definitely not my strength. It is one of the least favorite chores in the house. That and dishes. I don't really like doing dishes either. <laughs> uh, number seven, wiping the dirty spots on the floor with a rag and convincing yourself you mopped. Um, I'm going to say I'm innocent. Uh, I will take a rag and wipe the dirty spots on the floor, 
but I don't convince myself that I mopped. Um, yeah, I feel like mopping means mopping. So just taking a rag and cleaning up the spots is not mopping in my book. Um, number eight, ask the hubby to pick up, take out, call for takeout because you forgot to thaw something. I'm guilty, very guilty, of forgetting to thaw. Actually, this happened last night. I forgot to get the chicken out to thaw for our um, chicken alfredo. And so we had nothing ready for supper. Um, but I didn't call for takeout. Um, that's not necessarily going to happen in our house. And that's not going to fly with my husband. Um, please don't think I'm awful. <laughs> but if I forget to thaw something, um, it's toast and eggs for supper. Or, you know, breakfast for supper. Pancakes, eggs, and bacon. Or a toasted cheese sandwich and soup. Um, we're not calling for takeout. <laughs> but, um... I do forget to thaw the meat a lot. Um, let's see. Number nine, let kids run around in diapers, undies, because all their clothes are in laundry. Yes. Um, <clears throat> uh, my kids will, when they're little, they, they run around in their diapers and undies anyways. Um, but sometimes it is because they don't have anything to wear to. Almost forgot number 10 here, and that's wash dishes by hand because you don't want to unload the dishwasher. And I'm innocent as it is stated because I just won't wash the dishes. I'm not going to wash my dishes by hand because I'll wait until I feel like unloading the dishwasher or until my husband does it for me, and then I'll load the dishwasher. I'm not going to wash dishes by hand. Number 11, clean more in 10 minutes before a guest arrives than you have all week. Definitely guilty. Um, yeah, I am a procrastinator, and those last 10 minutes before a guest arrives, I am rushing around, stuffing things in closet, putting things out of sight, um, getting things straightened up. Move makeup before you go to bed or leave it on. Um, I am guilty of leaving makeup on uh, instead of washing it off. So, um, which I shouldn't be because I know that's really, really bad for you. But, yeah, I've done that more than once. Um, number 14, place blanket over wet spots so you don't have to change the sheets in the middle of the night. Definitely. I'm very guilty of this. Um, just in the middle of the night, it's no fun to get, especially like if the baby's in the bed and their diaper leaked or whatever, or they spit up or whatever it was, to get everyone out of the bed uh, just to change the sheets and wake everybody up, it's just not worth it in my book. So I will place like a receiving blanket or something like that over the spot. Um, now with my three-year-old, when she was night training, she had some accidents at night, and those were pretty big deals. And so at that point, it was change the sheets and get her... Uh, completely changed, you know, so that um, she could be comfortable and dry to sleep. I wasn't going to make her sleep in her peed clothes. But if it's just a little spot, you know, from a, an infant, there, there's no way I'm going to change the sheets in the middle of the night. Uh, number 15, wear jeans multiple days in a row if they look clean. Definitely guilty. Um, I don't have enough jeans to, you know, change them every day. So, Ideally, they are worn a couple days in a row. Um, eat the scraps off your kid's plate because you didn't have time to make your own meal. Definitely guilty. I have done that many times. Um, number 17, eat kid's stash of Halloween or Easter candy. Yes, guilty of this one as well. <laughs> number 18, say your kid child is aller allergic to something so you don't have to share. Um, I'm innocent. I've never done that. So, um, number 19, put wrinkled shirt back in the dirty clothes, even if it's clean, so you don't have to iron it. I would say in general, I'm not guilty of that, but I think it might have happened once or twi twice. So, hmm, guilty once or twice, innocent the rest of the times. <laughs> Uh, number 20, procrastinating, getting in the shower, but then don't want to get out. Guilty. And almost everyone that I've watched has said they're innocent of that. They love to get in the shower. Um, for me, with two kids, 
um, it is just incredibly hard to get a shower during the day. That means waiting until the evening, uh, you know, when my husband's home to watch them so I can get my shower. Well, the evenings are very full. He gets home late normally, and so um, they're busy, and often it's the end of the night and the kids are in bed, and I have this struggle. I have to decide, do I take a shower or do I go to bed? And I have I have been guilty on many occasions. Please don't think this is gross. Don't judge me for being a slob. But there are times when getting in bed definitely wins out over staying up to take a shower because I'm just exhausted. And sometimes in the back of my mind, I tell myself, you know what? Um, I'll, I'll get up early and I'll do it before the kids are awake or, you know, whatever it is. <sighs> And I don't know why I tell myself that, because it never works. <laughs> so, um, yes, I am guilty. And then once I'm in the shower, though, oh, I do not want to get out. I just enjoy my nice hot showers, and it feels amazing. So I don't know why I procrastinate getting them, because it feels so good. <laughs> but I, I am guilty. Um, number 21, I think that's where I'm at, yes. Rehearse argument in head just in case. Yes, I am guilty of rehearsing what I'm going to say ahead of time. And then when I'm in the situation, I forget what I'm going to say. And then afterwards, I think of everything I should have said. <laughs> so very guilty. Number 22, ignoring text for days and then saying, oh my goodness, my reply never went through. Uh, I'm innocent of this. Um, I will say, oh, I'm sorry, I just saw this. Or, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to reply. Or... You know, I because I do ignore text for days um, or never get to them. Um, yeah. And then number 23, snooping in other people's bathroom cabinets. I'm not, <laughs> I'm very innocent of that. I, I've never thought to even snoop in anyone's cabinets, no. <laughs> number 24, turn radio down in car when lost or looking for a number on a house. Guilty. I do not multitask well and so if there's if my brain feels full I need to get the noise level down so that I can concentrate uh, number 25 use perfume flyers that come in magazines innocent um, for the most part I do not like perfume um, it smells really strong to me um, I don't like fabric softener I don't like anything with a strong smell really um, number tw 26, lied about your age. I'm innocent. I don't think I've ever lied about my age. Um, number 27, lied about your child's age to get a better deal. Nope, I don't think I've done that. Innocent. And number 28, given someone the wrong number on purpose. No, <laughs> I think I'm innocent of that too. I, I never would have even thought to give someone the wrong number on purpose. If I don't want you to have my number, I'm just going to tell you. Uh, no, <laughs> or find some other excuse. I probably wouldn't outright tell you no, you may not have my number, but I'll find some excuse to wiggle my way around giving you my number if I don't want you to have it. And then number 29, peed in the shower as an adult. I thought it was so funny when Obs and Lala said she didn't even know that was a thing um, until she was an adult. Well, I am 37 years old, and I didn't even know this was a thing until this tag. <laughs> like pee in the shower? No, I do not pee in the shower. <laughs> I I didn't know people did that. So <laughs> uh, yes, um, I don't pee in the shower. I, I actually will get out and pee if I'm in the shower, taking a shower. I never even thought to pee in the shower. And I know that it all goes in the same place and that it's sterile, but just never had a cure occurred to me. So anyway, that is the tag. Um, yeah, if you're watching this, I would love to hear your responses. You can put your link in the comments below so that I can find your video. And then for the people that I tagged, it would be fun to see if you get a chance. It would be fun to definitely see your responses as well. So anyway, this was my first tag video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and we'll talk to you later. Bye.